In today's session, I'm going to show you how to create a workflow A to Z that its purpose will be to babysit your employees to complete their tasks. There will be lots of times that your employees will work on tasks, but they will not complete them. And therefore, someone needs to babysit them and make sure that they are completing their tasks. So in today's session, I will show you how to do it A to Z all the way. A few messages before, uh, today is the uh, 15th, September 15, 2021. We are continuing with our webinars starting with September 22nd, 2021, because right now I am in holidays and I'm not really working. So September 22nd, we continue with the live webinars. In the description below, there is a link to them. Uh, we also have now, uh, we are providing web technology and web development for both for high-end websites and also high-end applications. In case that you need sophisticated applications, we can do it also with web. Let's continue with our session. If you will go to the settings and you will go to the workflow, we will need to create a new workflow and that will be using the create rule. The modules that we are going to select will be the tasks module. I know you're shocked, but we're going with it. And we need to provide some kind of a name. Let's say babysitting employees. The when to trigger the workflow can be based on uh, actually three things right now because we're in the task we have only two but scoring rules also apply here in our case we are going with the date and time and we need to select the due date so the idea is one day after the due date to kick in and send the reminder and we can go with one day after okay and with the time, usually I like to make it after the employee is starting his day and starting to work. And I will probably make it at 1.30 p.m., which is after the, uh, the break. The recurrent recurrence is not relevant for this task because it works on a monthly or yearly basis. So I don't think that we need to pay attention to that. Next, we need to have some kind of a condition because if you will run this workflow without the condition, it will run for any task, including the ones that the status is completed. So in my case, I need to select all the ones that the status is not completed. Okay, so if the status is not completed, I want to run this automation. Now you will have two types of notifications. One will be instant, immediately send, for example, a click message or an email. And in my case, I like to use the Zo click. It's awesome. And it's sending uh, the message automatically as a pop-up, which I like it a lot. And I will go with Zo click. The message will be, dude, you forgot to close the task. And if you click on the number sign, you will get here different values. One of them will be the subject and that's the subject of the task. Notify two, I can go to the tasks and I can go to the owner of the task. So the person who owned the task will get this click message. Next, let's assume that now there is one more day and this task is still open. I can continue here, go to another day, and then I will send another message. And as you can see here, you can create more and more and more. You can create multiple notifications for it. That's it. That was a very simple workflow to create. I hope you were able to follow those easy steps. I felt it was like IKEA style. You just click, 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 and you have something working. Very cool. So guys, thank you very much for being with me. If you have any questions, comments, shoot them in the comments below. I will see you in the next session.